Hello guys! In one of my previous videos I demonstrated how it is easy to create this part with Real Thunder fork of FreeCAD and how the process differs from the standard FreeCAD. One person in the comments suggested that the design can be simplified using a sketch for the pot profile without using a thickness tool and do 180 degree revolve to eliminate the need for the slice in half. So thanks for the comment and let's try to do what was suggested and see will it simplify the process. So switch to the FreeCAD Real th Thunder fork, create a new document, uh, part design workbench, create a body, create a sketch, XZ plane, I'll go with multi line and sketch the profile of the pot. Okay, uh, so here is our profile and we will do some constraints here to have a thickness defined. So let's have for example one millimeter and call it thickness so we can reuse it. So this value uh, mentions only one once here. So We'll define the distance and use our thickness. Yes, we need to make those parallel and those parallel as well and define the distance again using our thickness variable and we need this to be horizontal okay so our sketch is not fully constrained but it is fine because we don't have uh, the exact dimensions so let it be like that and now we will do a 180 degree revolution of this profile 180 okay looks correct so with a simple uh, operation in the history revolution and the profile we already have uh, uh, much more I think than in the previous video. So now we'll try to add some material for the mating surfaces. So we'll do pretty much the same uh, XZ plane and we need to reference some edges. That's enough. And with multi line we will trace this profile and add some thickness. So the this sketch is pretty similar to the previous one. Uh, this one needs to be horizontal and we'll define the thickness. Let it be two millimeters and call it thickness as well as in previous uh, sketch. But it this one is different thickness. So the, in the previous sketch we had one millimeter thickness of the pot, and now we have two millimeter, two millimeters extra thickness for the mating surfaces. So we need to add some more constraints like this parallel and this one parallel as well. And make th 
thickness A distance here and we will reuse our constraints constraint two millimeters and here as well okay so we have fully defined sketch and now we will do the pad but a bit different as uh, this person in the comments suggested that we we'll, we can do some trickery here so we'll do up to last uh, and I think no I previously tried it and it worked but I wasn't sure actually um, at first I tried to use it up to face and select uh, this face but as far as I understand uh, we cannot do uh, up to face to non planar faces to like curved faces so the first doesn't work the last the last works yeah it's a bit fiddly but you see <laughs> it finally does what we need so it looks correct so if you know uh, if you can explain what this process does why it is to last because um, it is showing like to first as I can see please please add your comment okay so let's proceed so we have our uh, supporting material and we can do the mirror of it yeah it looks correct we can refine it but um, those edges can be used for the f as, a, as a path for our um, additive pipe and subtractive pipe so we will not refine it for now so the next process is uh, quite similar we will create a protruding part on one side and the slot on the other side so create a sketch on this plane and it will be symbol simple rectangle something's wrong I, I think I'm on the other side yeah it be a square and one millimeter side and one millimeter distance here so here is our uh, profile form for the protruding part and um, We'll create right now a sketch for the slot as well. So we'll do on the same plane. But we'll uh, do it to the opposite side. So I will do, we'll go with a carbon copy of the previous sketch. 
to to reference those dimensions here and I can actually move it on the other side just by removing one constraint and adding another but we need make it a bit bigger to have some clearance so I will uh, edit this constraint it is um, we will make it 0.2 millimeters bigger and we'll bring it 0.1 millimeter down okay so it, it looks okay correct so it has some clearance for for our like pin side now we can do um, additive pipe so we selected the sketch oh, the profile and the path the path edges additive pipe so it looks correct we have some extra but we can clean up it later and subtractive pipe select the sketch and the path yeah looks correct and we can remove this extra part with a simple pocket through all okay yeah so we can refine it but we actually can refine I think right now because we don't need those extra edges yeah so let's create a hole in the bottom just create a sketch XY plane go circle let's have it 10 millimeters close pocket reverse and through all okay so we have our part um, actually I know we have some problem here because our path was not long enough to to finish the slot so we have some extra material here and we can actually remove it um, the same way as we removed uh, the extra stuff at the top just by uh, selecting the face and pocketing it out yeah and here we will also want to refine it yeah so was unfortunate that our path edge was not long enough but we cleaned it with the additional pocket so we basically have our uh, part and we can uh, create a clone so we have the other part and uh, rotate it 180 to see how it fits so it looks like it fits okay and now we'll do the same as in the previous video and as well as in the original Thomas's video so add some um, um, how it's called knob retention knob yeah retention knob so we we'll hide for now uh, uh, second half and um, we will just add um, oops not what I wanted I wanted a sphere yeah just add a sphere and uh, position it with x 
y direction on the opposite side and bring it up so I am not precisely positioning it but just by by I so let's be like this and now we need to remove this uh, inner part that we don't need uh, luckily in real thunder fork we have uh, this split operation that can produce multiple bodies and those bodies can be fused in the final shape so we just uh, select our sphere that we want to cut and um, our oh sorry I did something wrong so I had to use not additive operation but new shape yeah so we have a new shape and we can operate on uh, this new shape and the previous shape with boolean operation so we select our sphere and the previous body and use split operation this split operation produces number of bodies this one we don't need uh, this one, it's the inner part we also don't need, but the outer part we need this. And we need to fuse it with our uh, original shape. So we select this and our uh, outer sphere and use boolean operation, fuse, correct, yeah. So we have our final shape and the other half uh, matches, matches it. So that's it. So I agree that this process uh, with defining the master sketch uh, is easier I think it's easier to manage and uh, we can easily change the thickness of the pot and I think it also reduces a bit the history of the part so that's it uh, if you have some comments please leave them below Thanks for watching, have a great day, bye.